So good morning friends welcome to PD classes today a very important session for all those who want to make their career in income tax department i hope students income tax related jitne bhi aaj questions hai bahut interesting hai aur commerce related income tax related hamare jo videos aap dekh rahe hain dono channels par PD classes par aur intro guide par ummeed hai aap spoken english ke videos salary development ke videos body language ke videos bhi saath mein dekh rahe hain to chaliye main welcome karta hu hamare candidate ko Mr Manish to Mr Manish what is income tax First of all, tell me this thing. Income tax is a type of tax, which is annual tax, which is collected on the income of the SSC by the government of India. Okay. For computing the income tax, the income of the SSC is divided or is categorized under the five heads. Okay. First one we have is the salary, and then the income from house property, income of capital gain, income from business or profession, and last one we have the income from other sources. So the income is divided in under the five heads, and income is calculated according to that separately, and the tax rate is applicable according to the slab rate, which is decided by the government of India. Okay. How will you decide the residential status of an individual? The residential status of an individual is calculated in the following manner. As per the Income Tax Act, the residential residential status of a, an individual is resident and non-resident. Now, as per Section Six, Subsection One of the in Income Tax Act, an individual is considered as a resident of India if he satisfies any of the following two conditions. First one we have is he stays in India for a period of at least 182 days in the previous year, and second condition is he stays in India. for a period of at least 60 days in previous year and at least a period of 365 days in the last 4 years preceding the immediate preceding year okay uh, what is the alternative minimum tax a AMT means AMT stands for alternate minimum tax alternate minimum tax is a type of tax which is specially designed by the government which is a tax which generally uh, 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 developed on the wealthy man so that they can be prevented from the tax evasion it's a type of tax which has a different set or a separate set of rules after allowing the certain deductions it is generally for the higher income group person because it's a, a certain it sets a certain limit on the benefits of tax as compared to the normal slab rates in this if for example if the uh, tax rate if the tax amount is uh, sets below the atm limit then the individual who is the higher income group has to pay tax according to the higher atm limit and what drew you to tax preparation as a career actually that's a very nice question and that touches my heart actually from the initial childhood i am i have a much interest in the business life and the initial step was taken when i chose the commerce stream after my 10th board okay. and i i still choose, i still think that it's a good option because i have i seen my much interest and inclination towards the subject like taxation business economics and other sector and now as i am preparing uh, as i am in the commerce field i took much interest in the tax field tax analyst analyst field or any other field and i to um, implement i to think that the tax field is a very good option for me and all alongside further we think that as india is a booming economy whose financial sector and investment sector is booming right. and the tax planning is becoming very important for everyone so complying with the good opportunity or the growth opportunity in this sector which complied with my interest in this sector i choose that i choose that option as my career okay what are the tax rates applicable on companies the applicable tax rates for the domestic companies which are applicable from the assessment year 2021 to 22 are uh, first one the first one has per section 115 ba the tax rate is 25% and the surcharge is 7% or the 12% now as per section 115 ba baa the tax rate is 22% complied with surcharge of 10% okay. and then the section as as per section 115 ba b the tax rate is 15% plus 10% surcharge and now any other section the tax rate is 30% plus 7% or 12% surcharge okay. on the companies and explain tax audit tax audit see tax audit is a type of audit which is conducted uh, which is conducted as per the income tax act in this all the eligible companies have to get their accounts audited and submit a audit report to the it department along with the income tax return so this is called as tax audit in this all the eligible companies have to submit their audit report before the 30 september of every assessment year okay how do we stay up to date on the latest for changes 
how you make yourself update yeah that's a very nice question uh, to to stay updated with these latest tech changes first of all uh, we know that there are various seminars or the uh, courses or the training courses have been conducted by the tax institute or the various experts or the various other institutes so uh, i do stay updated with them with these institutes or the training courses I, i regularly take part in these courses and second one is the networking we all know that networking is the boom industry networking is an industry in which we can contact with our peers and have a good connection but networking is also a growth growth opportunity to discuss the latest trends in the market to discuss the various case studies about the recent trends so as per as per net, networking we can stay updated to the latest changes yes. and third one we have is the uh, regular updates the tax institute has issued a tax wine for all its members which is a new, weekly newspaper newsletter for all the taxpayers or for all, all the people to stay updated with the tax so i'm giving you a situation okay okay suppose the gross taxable income of a person is 10 lakh 10 lakh and he has made a payment of uh, 2 lakh for house loan repayment and 50000 as life insurance premium for a policy amount of uh, almost 10 lakh okay what will be the net taxable income so let's calculate this uh, this practical question to calculate the net taxable income first one we have is the gross ta- taxable income of 10 lakh and uh, as per as we are given uh, the life insurance premium of uh, rupees 50000 and another 2 lakh for uh, the house loan repayment so these are the deductions which are available under the chapter 6 of the income tax act and the section which is applicable for this is the atc so whenever any in ssc pays for any type of house loan repayment in the assessment in the previous year or any type or any type of payment for the life insurance policy he is eligible for the deduction but as we are giving in this that the ssc has made a total payment of 2 lakh 50000 as per section 80c but as per the income tax act the deduction under section 80c is applicable only for an amount up to 8 point up to 1.5 lakh so the net taxable income is 10 lakh minus 1.5 lakh which is 8.8 lakh 50000 okay there is still confusion about whether the actual rate of uh, tax on corporates is 22% okay. or 30% can you clarify yeah i can clarify it that i have de- i have searched it a lot and now i have made a conclusion okay. the tax rate uh, for the companies has has reduced from 30 to 20% only for those companies who wish to uh, give the tax rate as per 20, 22% without claiming any type of exemption or deduction under the sections but the tax rate of 30% is still applicable for those companies who are wish to claim uh, who are wish to claim the any type of deduction or exemptions okay what do you mean by presumptive taxation presumptive taxation is a type of taxation which is included in the income tax act it's a type of taxation which is applicable uh, from with the section 44 ad it's a ta- it's a section in which a comp- a business who has an annual turnover of uh, less than rupees 2 crore he can eligible for this uh, presumptive taxation and can pay tax according to tad he has to declare his income either 8% for the non digital transactions or the 6% for digital transactions so and to, to pay tax according to tat but this presumptive tax is not uh, applicable for certain type of persons which are the life insurance agents or the commission of any kind or the persons who are in the business of hiring hiring or uh, or hiring the good carriages how will you calculate uh, house rent allowance hra the house rent allowance is calculated in the way that it is a minimum of the three amounts okay. first one the the actual round actual rent paid by the uh, by the employer for the employee and second the actual rent uh, subtracted by the 10% of salary and third is the 50% of the salary in case the employee is situated in the metro city which is delhi mumbai chennai or kolkata and 40% in case of the ssc living in any other type of city so the least amount which is the minimum amount of three these three limits will be will be the house rent allowance for the employee okay mr manish can a person file a nri in an income tax form if he has been out of india for 6 months now he is an indian citizen yeah actually a nri form can be uh, filed by only by those individuals or by those ssc who does not fulfill any of the following two condition first condition we have is the individual or the ssc stays in india for a period of at least 
180 days, 180 days in the previous year. And second condition is he stays in India for a period of at least 60 days in the previous year and 365 days in the last four years uh, preceding the previous year. So an individual who said, does not satisfy any of the following two conditions, he can only file the NRA form. Okay. Can a person claim deduction for his or her personal and household expenditures while calculating his or her taxable income or profit? No, any person cannot claim any, any type of deduction for his personal or any type of household expenditure while computing the taxable income as per the Income Tax Act. As per the Income Tax Act, only those expenditures are allowed which are provided under the Income Tax. Okay. Explain taxation under Section 115 BAC. A new type of taxation scheme is implemented by the Income Tax Department by the insertion of the section X15 BAC. It's a type of section which is applicable, uh, which has a lower tax rates as compared to the existing slab rates. And this type of section is applicable from the assessment year 2021 to 2022. And it is applicable on individuals as you have both resident as well as non-resident. And the tax rates under this uh, section X15 BAC are up to 250000 there is nil tax rate and uh, uh, greater than 250 to 5 lakh 5% 5 tax rate and greater than 5 lakh to 10 lakh to 7.5 lakh it's 10% and greater than 7.5 lakh to 10 lakh it's 15% and 10 lakh to 12 lakh it it's 20% and 12 lakh 50000 to 15 lakh is 25% and greater than 15 lakh is 30000 30% tax rate good knowledge you are having really thank you sir Actually, why you applied only to our company rather than other organizations? Yeah, that's a very nice question. Actually, I have worked in many other companies, many other uh, financial companies or the business companies. But I th but I really wanted to work with you because of your market credit or the market capitalization you have and because of a healthy working culture which fulfills all my monetary needs as well as my esteem needs. So I really wanted to work with you to gain a much knowledge, much exposure of myself. And where do you want to see yourself in five years tenure? Actually, I am still a quiet trainer in this in the tax field and over the next five years, I would like to improve my extreme knowledge or technical knowledge about this field, about the business, about the taxation and over the next five years, I would uh, integrate or the appropriate various new ideas with my colleagues and work upon that to be, a, to be a market leader or to increase my goodwill in this taxation field and any other type of business field so that I too have a good network for to, to good network and to increase my goodwill. As you are an intelligent boy, so I want uh, you to tell my audience one question I want to ask. Okay. Very simple question. Okay. Like, do you think every person should pay his tax? Is it good thing or not? Whether they are coming under uh, taxation, whether they are coming under income tax, above a slab of 250, 350, is it compulsory or it's not compulsory? They should pay the tax or not? Uh, they should fill the form of income tax or not? It's a very personal and a biased question. Actually, every I think that every individual must pay a minimum tax. Whether not? No, I mean to say, suppose some person is earning only one lakh rupees. Okay. So he's not coming under. He's not supposed no. to pay anything. No. But should he file? Should he make a file for income tax according to you? Yeah, that's a very biased question. But I think that everyone, everyone should pay tax, even his income is less than two lakh fifty thousand limit or not. Okay. Uh, we, we, we though we know that uh, any income below two lakh fifty thousand does not need to pay tax or file the income tax return. But I think that whenever any person file any type of income, even his income is uh, below two lakh fifty two lakh fifty thousand. Let's suppose one lakh. He should file that income tax return to have his money converted into the white money or to increase capital. So because uh, this would increase his capital and this would increase his capital and this would help him in, in any type of future expenditure to the to do the expenditure from white money. Wonderful answer you have given. So I want to know about his strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, as, as per my positive traits of my personality, which make me an asset, are I love challenges and I have versatile personality. I have much interest in the tax fields of the business line and I am working much eagerly in these fields. And now, as per the limited size of pers my personality, I have a sort of perfection in nature. That is, I can't tolerate the work of uh, the poorly executed work of my clients or either my colleagues. Okay. Nowadays, as uh, you are an income tax expert, and okay. a very important point that is coming is GST. Everywhere the word is this, in front okay. of every businessman. What according okay. to you? What are the pros and cons of GST? The pros and cons of GST are, first one, the pro, let's talk about some of the pros. 
the one of the basic or the most of the pros of GST is that the it has reduced the double taxation scheme or the ta ta tax right. of good it which which it which it tax two two times from state to state like from state sources. to state. Right. Actually, through GST, all the other taxes has been has been written yes. off, yes. and now uh, there is one nation one tax. And let's talk about some of the demerits as as the GST has implemented, uh, but. Uh, but there are some uh, loopholes like uh, computing is very hard i think yeah that's a very and they have to hire cas and all this yeah. it's a big burden it's a big burden over the over all the all individuals over the because earlier they can pay tax themselves but as compare as the implement of gst has introduced it has various provisions various type of section which a individual by themselves cannot understand so he has to hire a professional like ca to do his taxation and to do file the gst return so in in the other side in the limited limited side it also it also increases the expenditure of hiring a ca or any type of professional for yes. computation of the gst liability and to pay and to pay the tax right so now i want to know only about your laser works laser time what you do uh, in actually in my laser time actually i like reading the various motivational books or motivational videos or i love reading the various uh, books related to my business sector which or of my tax as a sector actually i regularly updated myself with the tax with the tax where which is a weekly uh, which is a weekly newspaper issued by the tax institute and actually i lo also love reading the various netflix series or other type of movies okay really proud of you keep it up blessings to you nice okay, talking sir. with you thank you sir